Hey, 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 this is Bob. On Tuesday, March the 7th, 2017. And this is a, a unusual day. We're covering a, a, a church. We're going to have a devotional, and the, and the theme is the church, the Hillsong Church. I had quite a bit of time today on the way in. The traffic was just horrendous. So I went ahead and Googled Hillsong biography. And I got to hear from, I can check my notes here, from Brian Houston and his dad, Frank uh, Houston. He has uh, three children, Joel, Ben, and Laura. And uh, it's, a, it's a family that has been just blown out of the water with being, being blessed. I mean, unbelievable blessings. They uh, started off in Australia on a little uh, little community school, <coughs> and at that little community school, the Lord just seemed to bless them. And he's got the new ministry style of a Pentecostal evangelist, a preacher, welcoming, loving, accepting, grace-filled, a seeker-centered, a happy, clappy church as the Australian media likes to call them, and uh, the church has not been without uh, it, its challenges. The, the uh, founding, uh, one of the founding pastors, Frank the Senior, was uh, a pedophile, as it turned out, and nobody knew it until really late in the game, uh, 1999, October, uh, and he was dealt with immediately, and uh, the pastor, uh, Brian <coughs> uh, Houston, and his wife, uh, Bobby, uh, were just horrified. It just killed them because that was their idol. That was their dad. He was the, he was the man that <clears throat> they all looked up to. <clears throat> and, and yet the church, being struck <clears throat> so hard with such a challenge, did not fold, did not collapse, did not run away and give up. They did both the correct thing in uh, spacing, and, and, and uh, consequences that were immediate and swift. And at the same time, they've continued on with their mission of presenting the gospel of Jesus Christ and, and presenting worship in a way that has <clears throat> touched my heart uh, so much that I wanted to, to take a few minutes today and talk about Hillsong. Uh, it could have been uh, Oakwood. It could have been Green Valley. It could have been any, any number of uh, communities. When the Holy Spirit uh, presses in, uh, one of the uh, singers from the worship team, she's famous for the Ocean Song and presenting that song <coughs> to the Lord in a way that is just astronomically amazing, just crazy. I just heard her speaking a few minutes ago, and she was talking about how her mom, her mom, was was coming to uh, a conference, and the conference is like 11 hours away, but her mom made it over there. And then Taya prayed, she said, God, I pray that this would be a moment where you would touch my mom, where you would, you would make it a Holy Spirit, holy moment with my mom. And it turned out that that, that I, I didn't get the end of the story, but I got the feeling that that's exactly what happened, that God touched her uh, mother. And God touches me when I hear the uh, the worship from Hillsong United. I think the great, the, 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 the name of the group is United, and it's from the Hillsong Church. I think that's how it actually is supposed to go there. That's kind of, i kind of getting that idea here. I'm learning more and more about the, you know, at first it was just, oh yeah, there's that song, it's a really cool song, Hillside United, you know, and I didn't really connect it with the church. I didn't know about Brian. I didn't know about the ministry. <coughs> but now, now that I do, it gives it, it puts some flesh on the bones. It puts some, puts some uh, tread on the tires. It's allowing me to see uh, this is not a group of people who is without, uh, without challenges, without sin, without grief, without uh, problems. So Brian, uh, you know, who is a, an awesome man of God, brought up and he, he knew he wanted to, to serve God all his heart, all his life. <coughs> After the revelation that his dad was a pedophile, he slumped into a depression and he couldn't sleep and he got hooked on some kind of sleeping pills and it became really a mess. Uh, and, and yet the Lord was able to deliver. He had an anxiety attack, couldn't breathe. And the Lord... The Lord it brought him through that. And 
I want us to to not let ever let anything. And you can't get anything much worse than uh, being a pedophile. That's a pretty terrible, terrible thing right there. But if you've made it through that, then uh, as far as he handled it well, he addressed it, and and they have all the safeguards in the world in place. Uh, uh, like like all churches do nowadays, uh, he did refer to that. He said that you know years ago when his dad fell into that that terrible sin or, or dumped into the sin or however it worked out, that uh, you know they they didn't have the guards in place like they do now. Uh, basically, it was like here you go, go over there, Johnny. You know, and today <coughs> it's a, it's a much different story. Well, how do we apply that today for our own lives? And what does Hillsong have to do with us? If you're not a member of the Hillsong Church, <coughs> which is around the world and here in Los Angeles as well, Ben is the pastor of the church here in Los Angeles. If, if you're not a Hillsong member, how does this affect you? How does, how does that at all have anything to do with you? Well, I think that we can all learn from the gracious, useful, enthusiastic, presentation that Hillsong has uh, with the community. Hillsong Australia is the largest church of its kind. There's, there's no other church in Australia that's bigger than Hillsong. And of course they have the Hillsong Conference and <clears throat> And being that large, being that big, there's bound to be little things that come up, problems that come up, challenges, questions. Uh, obviously, people pointing the finger about how much money they raise, uh, on and on and on. <coughs> and it makes us think, well, gee, you know, I'd rather just live a little quiet life just there at the Hillsong Community School, you know, just here in the Hillsong neighborhood. I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to do too much. I don't want to serve too many people. I think we'll just kind of have a, we'll just kind of keep it small, keep it kind of close, you know. And that sounds real nice, but if God has a bigger purpose for you or for me, the song Oceans, um, this last year has meant a lot to me because I was stepping out upon the water where feet may fail and I was praying that God would expand my trust, expand my vision, expand the, the limits of what I could see and God has done that, God has done that, God has done that. It's been absolutely amazingly incredible how God has come through. Uh, in, in big ways even, uh, as, I, as I start this new segment with my family, that the fact that the property sold without a shot, I mean, just not even being listed, just sold instantaneously. It's unbelievable. It's so crazy, crazy, amazing, awesome. Provision, provision of, of things. Uh, I just found out today that a loan that I had uh, had for years, I was able to pay off. I just put a little bit more money on and was able to pay it off. And then with that loan paid off, that meant that it opened up a whole Pandora's box of extra finances that I didn't even, I had no idea that I would even really have access to. And that's pretty amazing as well. And the, the spirit of grace, kindness, quietness, <coughs> love, that, that Jesus spirit that says that I'm not better than you. Uh, we're all on one, we're all on one team here, guys. That's amazing to me. That's absolutely amazing to me that God could be so good and so gracious and so kind to me and I really really am so thankful for what God is doing in my life on a day-to-day -day basis and that spirit of worship the quietness the simplicity the humility those those characteristics of worship no one at this present moment in this present year of 2017 is, is more able to communicate the grace, kindness, love, joy, and, and spirit of, of God than Hillsong. Nobody. It just isn't done. Uh, 
<clears throat> there's reminds me of uh, Maranatha music back in the, the early 70s. Uh, <coughs> Maranatha music had a very sweet, sweet, soft spirit to it. And I have one track that has a bunch of Maranatha music on it. And it's such a blessing to listen to that. And it's just you know, very soft and nice. The opposite of rock and roll, the opposite of, of power and strength. Just, just soft and kind and nice. And there's certainly something to be said about having a sweet, sweet spirit. Having a kind heart. Being able to touch people in a way that is both compassionate and earth-shaking. People will know that they know that they know that... God is real, truth lives, and Jesus is Lord. To know all of those things in one in one moment is it's just so amazing, such a blessing. Well, if you'd like to reach me, give me a call. 213-713-8954 8954greenatt.net on the Twitter at BobBob8954 and of course Pastor and Bob Devotional right here on YouTube and uh, I look forward to getting together with you and having a little fellowship we could uh, talk about uh, some of the things that uh, we mentioned today we could talk about how God is moving in your life and your heart and what, what's happening with you and I would really look forward to that so so much uh, tomorrow will be the 8th of March, and I look forward to talking to you then. Until then, this is Bob. Love you. God bless.